What's a crazy ass story you can tell? My biological mother was 18 when she had me and mixed up with drugs. I also have an older half-brother from a different dad. My biological father was the drug dealer. Bio mom pretty much abandoned me. Records say up to six weeks before I turned one, and up to six months after I had turned one, though dad had only told me at the point that she was just dumping me on a lot of friends. When she finally got me back, she was living with and dating an abusive man. CPS took me away. I later found out it was my biological father who called them. Records state that at the age of two, I had no emotional connection to either of my bio parents. I was immediately handed over to a foster family who later adopted me. My brother came with, though they were unable to adopt him as well. His father decided to fight for him but only got as far as getting custody before dumping him on his grandparents. I got to see him a bit over the years but eventually fell out of reach as my brother turned to drugs and crime. My new family wasn't perfect, but I love them. Not once did they ever lead me to believe I wasn't their daughter. And my extensive amount of aunts, uncles, cousins, and grandparents all accepted me without issue. Save for one grandma, not outright hostile but definitely kept her distance. Despite my parents' issues, I wouldn't have anyone else. Mom says when I came to them, all I would eat was hot dogs and mac and cheese, which are still my favorite foods to this day. Aside from a bit of curiosity, I've never really been all that interested in meeting them. I still speak to my brother, we reconnected a year ago and he's doing a lot better for himself, though he still has some issues. He says our bio mom has done a lot better too, got away from the drugs, went to college, had some more kids, she sent me a message on Facebook a few years ago, saying she'll answer any question I might have, but it's still sitting in my message requests because I don't know if I want to open that door. I'm not angry, I'm not trying to punish her. It might sound mean, but I just don't care. The people who raised me are my parents. They're the ones who taught me to read. Mom was the one who listened to all my woes growing up. Dad was the one who went to every single one of my soccer games over the course of 11 years, and 2 years of basketball, and 2 years of softball. God, I bet that was boring. They divorced when I was a kid but never fought over us. I stayed with mom during the week, dad during the weekends, and spent the holidays together. They were the ones who put me through college. They're the ones who get to be there when I get married next week. Though, despite all this, I did have some surreal moments. A few years ago, I was at a work party, and a woman came up to me and knew my name. She was the person who worked on my case when I was adopted. She kept up with how I was doing over all these years. She was disappointed in how my brother turned out. Then, a bit over a year ago, I started a job at a pizza place for a little extra money while I went to college. There was an older man working there that I spoke a lot to. I ended up quitting the job after six months but came back a few months ago. He's still there. A week ago, my brother tagged both me and my coworker in something. I thought it was weird since my brother lives over two hours away. I figured since my coworker used to work with drug addicts, maybe that's how he knew my brother. So, I asked him. Turns out, the guy used to be married to our bio mom's sister. They divorced after 20-something years but were together when I was born. He used to babysit me. Said bio mom was mixed up with meth. He vaguely remembers bio dad but not really. He almost got arrested when bio mom called the cops over her then boyfriend threatening to kill her, and he walked in at the wrong time and said the wrong thing. Cops thought he was the boyfriend. He gave me pictures of bio mom and brother as a toddler and says he might have some of me when I was a baby, he just doesn't know where they are but he's looking. I think mom would cry if he found them because I didn't come with anything except maybe a toy. 